Time for our fifth literacy lesson in the Red Planet themed Unit 5, aimed at learners aged 10 to 11. Let's have a look back at last lesson before we move on. We have three questions to help us. Number one, do we use CIAL or TIAL in the word official? Number two, do we use CIAL or TIAL in the word torrential? And what is the meaning of the word? And number three, what are the rules for adding C-A-A-L or T-I-A-L as a suffix? Pause the video now and have a think about the answers. And when you're ready, play and we'll go through them. So for number one, in official, we have the suffix shall. And to remember suffix, we can pretend to add a jigsaw piece to the end of a puzzle. And before the suffix, we have a vowel. And to remember a vowel, we can say a, e, I O U money. We have an I in this case. We can use our steps to success and we can see that a vowel equal equals C for shall. And we can look through binoculars for C for shall. So we add the suffix C I A L. So it's O F F I C I A L official. In number two, we have a consonant before the suffix. And for a consonant, we can pretend to have lots of ants on our arm. And because we've got a consonant, we can see in our steps to success, a consonant equals T for shall. We can pretend to drink a cup of tea for T for shall. And we add the suffix T-I-A-L onto the end of the word. So torrential with T-I-A-L. And what is the meaning of the word? You can use a dictionary to look this up if you haven't already. And the meaning of the word is torrential, um, is heavy, as in torrential rain, heavy rain. Finally, number three, what are the rules for adding C-I-A-L or T-I-A-L as a suffix? And we've covered these in our steps to success. As a starter, we'll recap the atmosphere and climate sections of our non-chronological report using our report maps. You can download these using the Atmosphere and Climate Report Map links in the activity section below to have a go on your own, or continue to listen to this video and practice with me. Right, the Atmosphere section. Copy my actions or add your own as we go through. We'll start with the heading and we've got Atmosphere. So we can go round and round and round for Atmosphere. And then we've got Mars, so Mars has a thin and we can pretend to be a thin stick man and then there's a comma and we've got dusty so you can pretend to dust um, and atmosphere and again we go round and round and round and we've got a full stop so let's do that again we've got Mars has a thin then comma dusty pretend to dust and atmosphere and we've got a full stop Right, next sentence. It is made up mostly of carbon dioxide. So it is made up mostly of carbon dioxide. And for carbon dioxide, you can breathe out because we breathe out carbon dioxide. So breathe out. So it is made up mostly of carbon dioxide. And then we've got some brackets. So open your brackets. And then we've got approximately. And we've used approximately before. So we can go approximately. And then we've got 96%. So we can hold up um, nine fingers. So 90, and then six fingers, 96%, and then close your brackets. And we've got a comma, so comma, and then, but methane has been detected. Methane is smelly, so we can go like this for smelly, but methane has been detected. And then we've got a full stop. Right, let's do that again. So um, it is made up mostly of carbon dioxide. Open your bra brackets and then we've got 90 and then 6%. Close your brackets and then we've got a comma um, and then we've got but methane whew, has been detected. Full stop. We start a new sentence. This indicates, so we do this for indicates. This indicates that life forms may be, uh, sorry, that life forms could be present. So give a present that life forms could be present on the planet. Right, 
Um, let's do that again. So where were we? So um, this indicates that life forms could be present on the planet. Full stop. New sentence. There's evidence. Look through a, a magnifying glass. There's evidence su to suggest that Mars's atmosphere, we can add in Mars, that Mars's atmosphere, atmosphere again, that Mars's atmosphere was not always so thin. So not was um, not always so thin. We've got a thin stick man was not always so thin. And then we've got a comma, a comma was not always so thin. And after our comma, at one point, we can go at one point. It used to be much warmer, and for it used to be much warmer, we've got a bobble hat, so we can pretend to put a bobble hat on. So at one point, it used to be much warmer, and then we've got a comma, wetter, put up an umbrella, and thicker, move our hands apart, and thicker. And then we've got a full stop. We start this paragraph with however, comma, the atmosphere is now escaping into space. Look up into space, full stop. This means, show me a mean face, that liquid water, drink some water, should not be able to exist. Show me a cross, should not be able to exist on the surface, point your face, on the surface of Mars. And then a full stop. Scientists are still trying to understand, point your head, why this has changed over time. Uh, tap your pocket with change in it. And then full stop. Right, pause the video now and practice this section on your own. So our climate section, we'll start with the title. We've got a sun, we've got the rain, we've got a cloud. So climate. And then we've got out. Right, we've got some bonus actions in this section. So out, we'll say get out and point to the door. So out of all the planets in our solar system and we'll go around like we're orbiting so in our solar system comma mars is seasons and we'll add in mars so eat a, eat a chocolate bar mars is seasons and for seasons we've got summer we've got autumn with the leaves falling we've got winter cold we've got spring growing so Mars's seasons are the most similar to Earth's, right? A bonus action to Earth's. So similar to Earth's, we'll point to Earth. And then there's a semicolon, semicolon. However, and however, however. And there's a comma. They do last twice, so twice as long as Earth. So we can point to Earth again. And then there's a full stop. This is due to the fact that Mars, we can eat a, Mar eat a Mars bar, eat a chocolate bar. Mars is further, turn away, turn around, is further away from the sun. And we can pretend to be the sun. So further away um, from the sun and takes longer, longer, ruler, longer to orbit. Full stop. The climate, so sun, rain, cloud, the climate varies from the northern to the southern hemisphere. And we can have a hemisphere, we can chop in half and then full stop. So we start with in the north, and then we go to comma. Um, the climate, sun, rain, cloud is one of extremes comma with intensely hot summers and long comma cold winters full stop however comma in the south the climate we can add climate in again because we've got an action for that so climate is milder comma with long summers and brief cold winters full stop mars we can add mars in also has the largest dust storms in the solar system and we can add solar system in the solar system comma 
we've got um, bonus action uh, bonus actions here so which could cover we can cover which could cover anything from a small area to the whole planet so we can cover a small area and a whole planet and then we've got an exclamation mark temperature pretend you're taking your temperature on the planet can range from minus 143 degrees celsius at the polar ice caps pretend you're claiming up to a polar ice cap to 35 degrees celsius at the equator and a karate chop to chop the world in half and then we've got a full stop right pause and see if you can practice those actions again please today our learning objective is to recall and for recall we can point to our head and our brain as we can see in this picture so for recall we're going to remember um, an alien description this time and so we've got an alien picture and we can pretend to be an alien an alien description from a non-chronological report on Mars so for non-chronological we can cross our arms as a cross and then we've got numbers there and we can count on our fingers for non-chronological um, and we're going to use report maps to do this so we can pretend to open a map we've looked at the background section in our non-chronological report and we've looked at um, Mars's terrain its atmosphere and its climate now we're going to look at the life section of our non-chronological report so the life section of our non-chronological report i'll read through the introduction before we get to our aliens and you follow please so life many people are sure that there has been liquid water on mars liquid water is essential to sustain life on a planet this leads to the possibility that there was life on mars and it may still be there today in the late 19th century the speculation about life on mars increased telescopes had developed so observation of the planet was possible patches on its surface were observed by astronomers this led to theories that there was liquid water on Mars. Radio signals were also heard, and a shaft of light was seen from Mars's surface. UFO, an identified flying object, sightings were also widespread. This led to many Life on Mars stories on the radio, television, and in book form. The term Martian was used for an alien from Mars. These Martians usually fitted into two types. To set us up for our alien descriptions, we'll watch our next animation, Scene 4. If you haven't seen Scenes 1 to 3, then you need to go to Literacy Lesson 1 in the unit on the Teaching Alive website. Remember last time we had landed on Mars, planted a flag in the Earth and looked around at the terrain? Now it's night on Mars. Now this scene can be a little scary, so if you scare easily, ask an adult to watch it first to prepare you for it. As I said before, the animations are made up to help us with our imagination, hopefully enjoy our learning and make teaching come alive, so there's no need to worry about anything. Pause the video and click on the scene 4 link in the animations section below. If you can't see the link, then we'll recap using images to include you in the story. Pause and click on the scene 4 link if you can see it now. Right, let's recap with some images. So we step out of our lander at night. Immediately, you notice these strange patches on the surface of the terrain, shining in the moonlight. These were mentioned in the life introduction that we just read. And if you were with us for our first literacy lesson in the unit, we have the moons of Mars, Phobos and Deimos. So we turn to look at the terrain of the planet. We move closer to one of the patches to examine it. We notice some strange rocks. And as we look closer, we notice that one of the rocks is a skull an alien skull with a ridge on its head. 
Suddenly, there's a loud blaring noise and a metallic shape with a bright light emerges out of the sand. A robotic machine emerges. We turn and run as fast as possible to the lander. Here we see an artist's impression of the robotic machine we just saw in our animation. This was one of the types of aliens that were supposed to live on Mars. Right, let's have a read. So one Martian was a huge metal robotic machine. It had two stilt-like legs and numerous long cables to serve as arms. The body itself was shaped as a squashed sphere, that's an ablate spheroid, which served as a cell for any captured life forms. Its eyes observed from a protective helmet on the top of its body. A vicious light perched on the front of the helmet served as a laser to disintegrate or paralyze. Time for some talk time where we look at pictures and make up actions with our report maps. Right, our report map for our first alien life form. Some of you will be working in Group A and be using this report map. So this talk time will be very useful for you as I'll be suggesting actions. Pause whenever you feel to have a practice. We'll start off with the title Life. Um, make sure that you have uh, the text by the side of you, which you can download from the activities section below. Uh, so you can read through and then add our actions to our report map pictures. Right, life. Um, life, we've got a picture of a plant growing, so we can grow like a plant. So, life. And then we've got one Martian. So we can add a bonus action of one. And then Martian, we can pretend to be uh, alien, a Martian. So one Martian. And then we've got was a huge metal robotic machine. So huge metal and robotic. A uh, huge, hold your hands up Hi. So huge metal. Now what can we do for metal? Have a think. Uh, for metal, I think I'm going to pretend I'm knocking something metal. So huge metal and then machine. Uh, oh, sorry, robotic. For robotic, you can pretend to be a robot. And then machine, we've got a washing machine. So what do you want to do? Um, we can go round and round and round like a washing machine with our hand. And then we've got a full stop. Right, let's do that again. So we've got life. And then we've got one Martian. Um, was a huge metal knock. A robotic machine. And then we've got full stop. All right, next sentence. It had two stilt-like legs. Stilt-like legs. Hmm. We can see our stilts here. So perhaps you can stand up for stilt-like. Or we could also say it had two and then stilt-like legs. And numerous long cables. So numerous means... A uh, few, quite a few, more than one, more than two. So numerous, we can do numerous and count on our hand. Numerous long cables. So for cables, we can move our arm like a cable, a long cable. And then to serve as arms, and we can point to our arm. And then there's a full stop. All right, let's practice that again. So it had two still like legs. And numerous, oh sorry, numerous cables to serve as arms. And then full stop. Right, pause um, if you want to practice both of those sentences together. Right, we're moving on here. The body, point to your body I suppose. The body itself was shaped as a squashed sphere. Sphere, like think of a football, so a squashed sphere. So we can pretend we, we're squashing a football. And then we've got brackets. So you open your brackets. So let's open our brackets. 
And then a squashed sphere is also called an ablate spheroid. So we can squash a football again, an ablate spheroid, and then we close our brackets. And then we've got a comma. And then which served as a cell. And for cell, what do you want to do? Served as a cell for any captured life forms. Um, I suppose we can pretend we're in a cell or in jail and we're behind bars. And then we've got a full stop. All right, let's practice it again. So we've got the body itself was shaped as a squashed sphere, opening brackets, an ablate spheroid, squash a football again, close your brackets, then there's a comma, which served as a cell for any captured life forms, full stop. Right, our next paragraph. So we start our second paragraph with its eyes observed. So for eyes observed, we can point to our eyes. Its eyes observed from a protective helmet on the top of its body. So we've got a protective helmet. We can pretend to put a helmet on. A protective helmet, and we can add a bonus action here because we haven't got a picture for on the top. We can just point to the top of our head. On the top of its body. And then we've got a full stop. So we've got its eyes observed from a protective helmet on the top of its body, full stop. Right, we've got a vicious light, so we can, uh, a vicious face, a vicious light, and for light, what do you wanna do? So a vicious light points to a light, a vicious light perched, we've got an owl perching, so we can perch, perched on the front of the helmet, and put a helmet and point to the front maybe, the front of it of the helmet served served you can pretend to serve somebody food or something served as a laser we can point for lasers as a laser to disintegrate or paralyze and for we get bonus actions here disintegrate what do you want to do disintegrate so we disappear disintegrate or paralyze you can freeze for paralyze and then you've got a full stop Let's do that again. So we've got a vicious light, point to a light, perched on the front of the helmet. Put your helmet on, point to the front as a lay, oh sorry, as a, as a served, we've got serve as a laser to disintegrate or paralyze. And then we've got a full stop. Another type of alien that was rumoured was a human-like alien. Right, let's read. Right, here we go. Another type of Martian was human-like, but shorter. They were approximately four feet in height and had shorter legs in proportion to their body. Their skeleton was visible in their bodies and they had a translucent effect to their skin. Their skin was smooth. There wasn't a hair on their body and grey in colour. They had enlarged heads and large black eyes. They lacked noses and ears and had very small mouths. As opposed to the obviously aggressive machines, this Martian was not outwardly aggressive, although they could still defend themselves. They had strong telepathic and telekinetic powers, which they could use as weapons. So we've looked at our life section and a reminder of our learning objective to recall an alien description from a non-chronological report on Mars. We can generate our steps to success again now and hopefully by the end of this lesson we can say number one, I can recall an alien description by using a report map and adding actions and hopefully we can also say number two I can present a description using a report map and so you're going to work in groups to do this okay um, right our action for that we can uh, create a clapperboard with our arms um, a fast finishers who are happy with their presentation of their chosen alien can then present the other alien description. 
Right, our groups. We have group A and group B. If you're on your own, it might be better if you work in group B, as you can work with me and have some company. If you're working with some friends, remember to work together and listen to everybody's opinion, making sure everyone is involved. Group A, you have some help because you'll concentrate on the robotic alien as we did in the talk time. Your job is to memorize it, adding actions and using the pictures in the report map as we've done. I'd like you to make up some of your own actions, or you can use mine and try and improve them. You can then practice and practice and present it with the actions only using this report map, if possible. Of course, you can still use the text to help you if you get stuck. Group B. Your job is to do the same with the human-like alien. We have read through the section, but we haven't added actions. I will support you with actions, if needed, if you want to work with me. Group B, we'll then teach Group A our actions when we present. Remember, if your group is a fast finisher, have a go at the other alien as well. Report maps for both groups are available in the activities section below. Pause the video and off you go. Group B, you can click on the Group B activity video to the right and work with me. Right, pause now please and off you go. Time to present and evaluate. Hopefully, you've been able to present your description using actions. We'll start off with Group B, who have been looking at our human-like alien. We need to teach Group A our actions. If you're on your own, try and find some friends and family to present to or record your presentation. You can use your report map and the words to help, but it would be great if you didn't need either, either of them or just the pictures. So pause the video now and present, please. Now, Group A, your final presentation. Group B, see if they have used any new actions or improved mine. Pause and present, please. Let's recap our learning objective again. Um, to recall an alien description from a non-chronological report on Mars and our steps to success. Hopefully, you can now say, number one, I can uh, recall an alien description uh, by using a report map and adding actions. And hopefully also, number two, you can say, I can present a description using a report map working in groups. Self-assessment time. Decide which traffic light you are and tell a friend, adult, or write a sentence if nobody is around. For example, I am green. I really enjoyed using actions to help remember the alien descriptions. Or I'm orange. Next time I'll practice more before presenting. Or I'm red. Um, I need to practice so I have the confidence to present. Right, have a break and then click on the next lesson below because it's time for maths.